that when there is a demand, supply emerges. Now, 10 years ago, there was a concept in India which is called brain drain. It basically reflected this thought that because the number of opportunities in the US or Western world were far higher, people were all passing here, you know, IIT was producing the best brains, but they were all being exported. Mm. Back to the comment earlier, if we were to do the localization, it also is an opportunity for us to actually reverse. It's already reversed to a large extent. And, and I can tell you, uh, there is equal or more brain power here and the brain power which sits in the overseas location is largely of people from this country who have found those places to be very either attractive because of the career opportunities or also for the financial thing. The reality of the world is more and more opportunities here. There are enough people and I have personally hired more than 40 expats in the last 15 years who were willing, willingly to come to India and work here as a local. So, so that's the other thing that if you don't stop this, we are actually draining further. So, so it's also in the larger interest of the nation in a long term uh, sense to bring the talent back here and the brain absolutely way. agree that yeah, there is enough brain power in this country which can handle all of the AI and ML, not only current but also of the future. Hmm. And they built it for the foreign companies. Data is the new oil. We are one fifth of generator of you know data on the net. And a whole lot of data usage can happen and some can be beneficial to our interest as a sovereign nation and some can be misused against us, right? And as a sovereign nation, we got to protect this, you know, for our own interest. Now, there are two aspects here. One is, of course, data which is of national security, which can be, you know, misused maybe in, you know, elections or social unrest or things like that. Uh, we got to control that, right? And the whole point of data localization is that as a sovereign nation, if we do not have data uh, under our control where we can at least inspect, we can regulate, we can investigate, then, you know, we are sitting on a big risk. Mm. Uh, from an organization perspective, you know, uh, and some of us, you know, when, when we've started a new organization and setting up large technology platforms, of course, this debate comes in that, okay, fantastic tech platform, but the cost is something that you have to, you know, keep in mind. And the moment, you know, there are regulations about data lo localizations and things like that, you know, things start coming in that, you know, costs will escalate and, you know, the complexity will rise. There's also an aspect on the uh, competition side. Today, you don't know who's your competition and where competition is going to come from. If your data, you know, which you are generating as a, as a company and it's flowing all over the place, you don't know somebody, is, you know, will try to use it against you. Mm -hmm. Now, at least if it's in our you know uh, in our country where it's being regulated and there are chances or there is a hope okay there's faith that you will get a level playing field uh, so you're much more comfortable as an uh, indian corporate you know kind of uh, building up your organization india is a data gold mine mm -hmm. long we have been a data experiment gold mine for all these us uh, multinationals and i think it's it's very refreshing that india is exerting its Mm -hmm. uh, as Vineet calls it, data sovereignty. Yeah. So it's it's important that we understand the issue of data, importance of data. And uh, you see the top five companies in the world today are no longer digital companies. Mm -hmm. They're data companies. Wow. So you have to understand that the oil that you talk about data is the new oil. It's, it's the data which is the new currency actually. Mm -hmm. It's getting used, reused. Everybody's using it and who's got a better algorithm is giving you a better experience. And that's what it is. Uh, so, as far as USTR is concerned, that those are negotiations, they will happen, they will ask certain things, we will ask for certain things. Mm -hmm. But our primary concern should remain that we should have legal access to data, uh, mm -hmm. local access to data in real time. And if, if they want, the technical solution is if they want mirroring, they, you know, as they can do that. But as long as there is local, local access to that. Mm -hmm. Data should reside within the country, whether it is economical data, whether it is social data, whether it is in health data. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Tomorrow, if somebody comes to know that there is this kind of pollution threat in Delhi, mm -hmm. you would start getting advertisements and influencements which will influence your mind to buy certain products which may not be yours. Mm -hmm. Which may not be reasonably right thing. Mm -hmm. That may not be the resolution. But as the seller has that data, he can manipulate it. Mm -hmm. Well, if the data is here, even if it is encrypted, it is within my present. Mm -hmm. And the way today we are accessing data of MasterCard, Visa, mm -hmm. anything else, let them do it from India. Mm -hmm. And we, there is a distinction between censorship, reasonable control, regulated control and a free flow loot of the data. Mm. 
So I am dead against censorship like China. So I would like that the individual freedoms have been maintained. We all should have choice to do what we want to do. But at the same time against individual, that free flow of loot, koi bhi aega, aapke ghar ko loot ke leke jayega. Mm -hmm. This happened in Plassey also, Blatterloo Plassey also. Everybody thought it's a battle of that Bengal Nawab. Mm -hmm. So you, service people were sitting idle here. Somebody thought it is a battle of that Baroda king. Mm -hmm. It's not my battle. And lastly, what happened? You were enslaved. Mm -hmm. So today we would think, you know, what happened in endosulfan? People thought endosulfan is a fight of Excel care crop. Mm -hmm. And one molecule has been banned. Mm -hmm. It is under 450 crore rupees. But like this, every molecule is getting banned. Mm -hmm. And would you like your grandchildren to just become a delivery boy of some flip card? Mm -hmm. They would enact the company in some other country. Mm -hmm. The capitals will go there. And your and my children will go on motorcycle and deliver the packages which has been booked on there. So, it's not about technicality. Technical things can be done by third year engineering student of IIT. Mm -hmm. It's about policy making and a firm policy making. If I'm sixth of the world population, mm -hmm. if I'm the fifth of the internet population, if I'm the fourth of the consumer, I better dictate and you better listen to me. Mm -hmm.